So this is kind of going to be a review for both last week's episode and this week's episode of Supergirl because I didn't get a chance to review last week's episode. But um, Supergirl is back now after a pretty lengthy hiatus. They aired the first seven episodes back when Superman and Lois was off around uh, March to May, I believe it was. And now they're back after Superman and Lois has ended to air their final 13 episodes ever. So the show is probably going to wrap around early November. It's likely they're going to have a two-hour season final. Arrow also technically had a two-hour season final final but an hour of that was devoted to like an arrow documentary to kind of say goodbye to the show whereas with supergirl i think that we're going to get two hour final but it's going to be like both episodes 19 and 20 so we'll essentially have both episodes airing together um if they do that that would mean that the show will end literally the week before the flash begins which would be easy enough to like end it right before the flash's armageddon crossover event starts but um yeah, uh, real quick before getting this review, I just want to ask if you can subscribe if you're not already. I make DC and Marvel videos every single week, and so new subscribers really do help to keep up the motivation to make new videos. But yeah, so Supergirl is back, finally, for the final 13 episodes, and... I was actually quite a fan of the first seven episodes of the season. I thought they're kind of dividing it up so that we had a lot kind of focused on Kara and Zorel in the Phantom Zone while also showing Team Supergirl in present day trying to get her back. And also the, the two-parter that really delved into the past of Kara, Alex and all of that sort of stuff at Midvale was really well done. But I gotta be honest, these first two episodes back aren't really what I wanted, I guess, or they aren't really giving me the same feeling that the first seven episodes of the season are feeling it felt like when we were getting for example the Midvale episodes it felt like we were finally getting a sense of finality in terms of the season that we were finally getting ready for the final episodes sort of thing like it, it felt like a final season those two episodes whereas now we're back to kind of not really feeling like it's a final season it's kind of weird I don't know what they're going for. It's, it's not as bad as a, of a Black Lightning situation because with Black Lightning, it felt like Black Lightning got cancelled, basically. Like, I did not think that Black Lightning had a final season at all. It felt like just an order season setting up for stuff. It felt like it was a season setting up for a fifth season. Supergirl, I'm not getting the feeling that it's setting up for an extra season, but I'm not exactly getting the feeling that it's getting ready to wrap up either it really does feel like the show is going to end with all of the characters still in the exact place they are with nothing really changing between them and that's fine a lot of shows do that but um me personally i would prefer if we were getting a bit a bit more of a kind of a definitive finality to this season which i don't think we're getting just yet um the new episode was very much focused on both Nia and Kelly, which was really good. It was really great to see both those characters get a lot to do after they haven't really got a lot to do this season. Um, Nia and Nixley seem to be teaming up or something seems to be happening there, which uh, I wonder if they're setting it up for like a big reveal where Nia kind of has to choose between Team Supergirl or Team Super Friends, I guess, or Nixley, um, which will be a really interesting dynamic which, if they go for it. Kelly is very much heading towards the path of becoming Guardian. I think we know for definite that she will be becoming Guardian in episode 12, which is also the Diggle episode. So they're definitely setting up for that. We only really have three, I think it's two episodes actually, yeah. I think next week, the week after, and then the week after that will be the Diggle episode. So it's really it's really interesting to see them kind of going down that path. I love the scene of Kelly getting the Guardian helmet and also kind of the music playing up that they used for James's Guardian. It's really interesting. There, there is one scene that I wasn't, exactly crazy about and that's the scene where the little girl comes out and is like thanks for doing all this you're a guardian angel that was really kind of cringe i i mean i, I i'm not understanding if that's supposed to be a little kid like is there supposed to be some kind of thing there where since she's an alien there's like different kind of she's wiser than normal kids but if that's supposed to be a normal kid that's not how kids would talk at all <laughs> like that's that doesn't really that's cringe honestly like it doesn't suit that scene at all it it felt very kind of forced in the same way that for example the flash did earlier this year where they had barry and iris decide they wanted to have a kid and barry's like i love that impulse kind of you know implying impulse barrett allen it's it doesn't work <laughs> it's, it's it's a little bit weird but besides that i thought that the setting up kelly for being guardian was handled well besides that one scene i really liked how in this episode we got a lot of team up between Kara and john it was cool to see those two characters kind of team up because they are two heroes that i would say we haven't really seen those two solo team up since like either late season one or early season two there was a small stretch there where Kara and Jean were kind of the only two heroes on the show or two costumed heroes on the show so it w it's cool to kind of bring that back that's another thing that sort of felt like we were homaging the earlier seasons we were kind of showing the two of them 
teaming up once again, kind of being like, remember when they used to do this all the time, and that was really good as well. With a reference to Intergang, which could technically be a tie-in to Superman and Lois, as we had some sort of stuff with that earlier on in Superman and Lois. There was also, I'm um, actually in the last episode, it seems that they've changed how the fortress looks, and the new look for the fortress really does line up with how Superman and Lois made their fortress look, so I wonder if that was intentional. If so, props to the Supergirl crew and writers, because they're doing more than Superman and Lois has done in terms of, like, making things connect and line up because Superman Lois as much as I'm loving that show it has not helped the situation of whether or not people believe this to be the same Superman from the Supergirl episodes so it's it's that that bit's a little annoying but props to the Supergirl crew because they really are helping on that front um zor was wearing a costume that looked a lot like Aqualad from Titans it was cool like it worked I just thought that was kind of interesting the color scheme was very much like Aqualad but yeah, personally, I feel like these episodes, they've been a little more low-key or a little bit more kind of, I don't want to say boring, but it feels like not a whole lot is happening in them compared to the first half of the season. Now, maybe they're gearing up so that we're going to get into a huge plot pretty soon. I'm, I'm sure Nixley and the Dreamer stuff is going to come into play in a huge way. Uh, we also still have a lot of Lex Luthor stuff to deal with because we know he's coming back. There's going to be some Lena Luthor stuff to deal with, Brainy stuff to deal with, Um. But I, I just think that while this hasn't been a bad return for this show, these two episodes haven't really packed much of a punch. Like, they haven't really given the, you know, the big Supergirl's back, it's so good, can't believe it's back sort of feeling that I would hope we would be getting. Like, it feels like, um, you know, they've had so long to prepare these episodes that I personally would have preferred that this was much more of a kind of a triumphant return for the show rather than a little bit of a... a guess an intermission it feels like I guess in terms of these episodes where not a whole lot is really happening for the overall plot these are kind of just side stories or just character development stories which is fine but in a final season where we really are racing towards the final group of episodes I would have liked something a little bit more but um that's just my opinion on the on the season so far like the first half and I'm hoping the second half can kind of live up to what the first half was like but how did you feel about these two episodes did you like them did you hate them and if you enjoyed this video please remember to like share subscribe and all of that and I hope you have a great day